Research shows that the best brain foods are the ones that protect your heart and blood vessels, including the following. Green leafy vegetables. Leafy greens such as kale, spinach, collards, and broccoli are rich in brain-healthy nutrients like vitamin K, lutein, folate, and beta-carotene. Foods high in omega-3 also are good omega-3 fatty acids such as fatty fish and walnuts and antioxidants including berries and pumpkin seeds. They help to support healthy brain function. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Ifechi Health and Wellness. Why did I choose to talk about foods that are good for our brain? Because the diagnosis of Alzheimer's and dementia are on the increase, unfortunately, and it's no longer for older people. Now, much younger people are developing this condition. And it all boils down to what we eat and what we expose ourselves these days. There are various things we can be doing, like including the ones I just listed, the type of foods we can be eating. Let's bulk up on green leafy vegetables. Make sure that you don't overcook them. If you have to cook them at all, just steam a little bit. Let them still remain green when you eat them. They are very good. You'll be helping your brain by doing that. This Alzheimer's is no joke. It starts. It can start uh, uh, for a long time. You might start developing it for a long time. It might even take up to 10 years or longer, before, or, or much longer before it manifests. So don't think that, oh, I'm okay. But when it starts, it can be very slow and progressive. And if you keep doing what you have been doing over the years, it can only get worse. So the best thing is to start on time to even prevent it from starting in the first place. Please, look, let us look after our brains. It's so heartbreaking when you see your beloved one and they don't even recognize you anymore. They'll be looking at you like, who is this person? It is heartbreaking when you witness people who have lost their minds due to uh, suffering from Alzheimer's or dementia. Now... There's a question that's asked, what, what improves, what do you actually do to Im improve your brain function the most? There are many things that uh, I came across in my research. I said that you can keep your brain in shape by doing things like crosswords or po you know, crossword puzzles or Sudoku, reading. How many of us read? Honestly, I'm, I, I used to read a, a lot better than I do now. But now it's all these gadgets. You're either doing this on YouTube, you're doing that on social media. A lot of people are no longer reading books. Even children, and it's so worrying that even children are not reading books anymore. Even writing, you, children are not even, uh, they're writing these days. It's nothing to write home about because everything is now computerized. You this, do this. So, Reading is very good for your brain. So I've mentioned doing crossword puzzles or Sudoku, reading, playing cards, you know, or putting together a jigsaw puzzle. Things like that challenge, you know, consider it as a cross training for your brain and incorporate different types of activities to increase the effectiveness of your brain. This is very important. This is the time to look after our brains. Not when it starts getting bad, then by then it might be too late. And what is the worst food or what hab uh, worst habit that we do that can impair our memory or our brain? According to our 2017 Alzheimer's study, people who drank more than one sugary beverages each day had a smaller brain volume and scored less on memory tests both of which can include potential Alzheimer's disease in the future. You see what I mean? 
all this soda. We have to keep talking. I know I talk about this all, a lot on my channel, but I have to keep talking about it because it's worrying. The unfortunate thing is that by the time people realize it, it's too late. And there's not a lot that can be done. That's why we have to keep hammering on these things. All this soda, they call it soda in America over here. They call it a soft drink in Nigeria. I don't know other parts of the world what they call it. But all in all, I'm talking about, they call it mineral. All in all, I'm talking about soda. I'm talking about this colored sugar that they call minerals or soda. They are colored sugar. There's no food value in them. I have said this over and over again. And research Say, um, have shown that it is actually damaging our memory. So we have to cut down or stop, especially giving these things to uh, the children. Um, there are so many things we can be doing in terms of our brain and cognitive health. You know, the, the best data right now from what I, 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 I searched showed that Mediterranean diet, which includes... Most of the things I've mentioned before, but relatively very little red meat. And it emphasizes on whole grains, fruits and vegetables, fish, shellfish, nuts, olive oil, and other healthy fats. Exactly what I said before. And when, I, when we're talking about olive oil, let me even remind us again that people who use olive oil to cook, you are damaging yourself more. You don't cook with olive oil. Olive oil is to be sprinkled on your food, on your salad, or anything like that. Do not use olive oil to fry, to make stew, and cook food like that. You are actually damaging your health more by using cooked olive oil. It's not good to cook it. The reason you should not cook with olive oil is because olive oil has a lower smoke point than some other oils. The smoke point is the point at which an oil literally begins to smoke. Olive oil's smoke point is between 365 degrees and 420 degrees Fahrenheit. When you heat olive oil to its smoke point, the beneficial compounds in oil start to degrade and potentially form health harming compounds. So please, I see some of some people who do cooking and they use olive oil to fry their stew or whatever, thinking that they're going healthy. You are actually damaging yourself by cooking olive oil. The best way is to have it raw. Finally, let me talk about the fruits that, can act, that are best for our brains. The fruits best for our brains from my research are citrus fruits, which includes oranges, grapefruits, lemons, and limes. They are high in vitamin C, a potent antioxidant. Vitamin C is essential for brain health as it helps in the production of neurotransmitters, the chemicals that transmit signals in the brain. I'm going to stop this here, but we have to please be careful, look after our brains, stop all this colored sugar in the name of malt uh, or uh, soda and so on. Thank you so much as you continue to look after your health and the health of your family. Goodbye and God bless.